going to be showing you how to hook up the two PCs if you're a couple streamer, you're doing a dual PC setup, um, or you're doing any other type of PC setup that's going to require two PCs to do a stream. Now, we have it set that we have my computer over here, which I'll show you here. So, we have my computer, which is right here, and then I just game on this guy. This, I'm just doing my gaming. Then we have her computer over here, which this one is like the Mac Daddy of the PCs because this one's going to be doing the streaming output. Mm -hmm. It's going to be doing the actual uh, playing her own game. She has her own Discord set up, but then she's also going to be running all of my gaming and sound from over here to this PC as well. And I'll show you how all that gets set up now. So the setup part is real basic. You're going to have obviously the PC um, for me and a PC for her. Now, the main thing you're going to need is an Elgato HD60 uh, Plus. That's what we use as the capture device. Um, you can use any of the Elgato capture devices that you want. That's just the one that we use. We use Elgato HD60 Plus. Now, that is going to get plugged into my PC. And I will show you that guy down here. So let's, that is right here. So that gets plugged in. Now, you do not need to use the outside. The out is if you are just actually lacking a cable um, and you plug that directly into your monitor, you can do that. But here's the issue if you do that. If you plug that directly into your monitor, you're only getting 60 FPS. You can't get whatever your monitor is able to do. So you have an HDMI cable right here. That gets plugged in to the HDMI on the back of the graphics card. Now, this is a micro USB. This from the ins port, it's only one, it's only on the in port here. That is going to go directly to her gaming PC, and that's USB. It just gets plugged back into the USB. Now, let me advise. I do recommend you actually make that a 3.0 USB. Do not do a 2.0. If you do a 2.0 and you try and pull up the graphics on the other PC, it's going to be very choppy, very laggy. So it needs to go into a 3.0 port, just so you know. A little trick. Now, as far as the sound and everything else, because once you have that hooked up, once you have the Elgato hooked up to your PC, to the other streaming PC, that is it. That is all you need to do. It's very simple. The, the whole hooking the PC part up, done. Now, here's going to be the sound part. We use a Bayringer Xenex 802 USB. So how the cameras or the microphones are set up here. I'm using a Yeti, and she has a quadcast hyper x 3000 s plus whatever this thing's called you know it's something like that i don't know she liked it because it's all mm. fucking pretty and mm. like colory now how they get plugged in is here is the soundboard we use this is a xenx 802 uh usb now they have like i said earlier they have the regular one which is not usb port and it goes into the back of the usb on the computer it would actually go into the sound card so you would have to actually use these uh jack cables here you would have to get a stereo set red and white going to a 3.5 millimeter jack which then would go back to the back of your uh, streaming pc now these are xlr cables so you would need an xlr cable for her mic or the other person's mic and also your personal mic now here is where things can get a little tricky the microphone itself, all right, it gets into a 3.5 millimeter jack. So the cable you would need is a 3.5 millimeter jack to an XLR cable. That is going to go from each microphone into the soundboard. Now the other thing is these type of microphones need a power supply. So where a lot of people are like, oh, you just need the 3.5 millimeter jack, it's not true. You actually need to just regularly hook up your mic 
However, it normally comes without the 3.5 millimeter jack. So this is like the micro USB, and then it goes into the USB in the back of my computer. That is actually the power supply for the microphone itself. And same with hers. Hers is a micro USB into a USB in the back of her computer. So if you don't do that, you actually won't be able to pull up the sound. The sound, it won't, the microphone itself won't even work. Um, but other than that, the setup is real simple. Now, set part two is going to be how the whole sound system works itself, which that is the tricky part. And that is where I will actually be on a computer showing you guys how all the sound setups, uh, systems and setups work because that can get very confusing. It took me forever to figure it out. So stay tuned and I'll have the link for part two in the description below as well. Hope this helps. Thanks.